hey guys in this video we are going to learn about the failover plan uh, in last video we have already learned how to create that application now understand what I am going to do is uh, my Windows 8 machine which is right now working very nicely here this is the remote desktop I have taken and this is I am going to test the connectivity through the ping command so this host is running right now so this virtual machine is running right now in a host 2 and having a replica copy in a host 1 so what happened is when host 2 switch off with the there is a power failure with the host 2 definitely the host 1 vm will start automatically so that is a failover plan so let's start how to set it up first of all go to vm backup and replication open and click on failover plan so click backup and replication click failover plan you can name it any i'm not naming next virtual machine from replica and replica job is uh, here this is the latest one and windows a yeah this is the one you probably may not have these two replica job so i am having one replica job one select it select windows 8 click add apply finish so if you go to the failover plan you find a one plan here you need to right click and edit you can see delay is a 60 seconds so i cannot set that delay so i'm going to set a 5 second delay uh, here or maybe a 2 second delay apply and finish so what happened if my client is not reaching to the host for 2 seconds what happened automatically the replica will start so i'm going to click and start it Now failover plan is getting ready and started almost is about to finish so we will test the connectivity as well okay so it's done now done okay success you can see the status is success done now let's do one thing let me take try the ping I am connected to the host B. I am connected to my Windows 8 machine through host B. Working fine. But what I am going to do is I am going and switching off host this host. This is the host who is hosting virtual machine Windows 8. So I am going to power it off. There is a power failure for example. So let's see. It is off now. Okay done. And let's see. You see there is an error request timeout. Okay, request time what? There's a uh, it's it got disconnected and let's see how long it take for the failover plan to exactly get started. If you click this side, definitely it's also failed. Okay, it started. You see, only four packet, five packet fails, and my machine is started successfully. So this is how the failover plan works. So as you can see host 2 is off but still people are able to users are able to access the virtual machine through the replica which is available in the host 1 machine and you can verify that as well by simply logging to the host here 128 username is root and password for the host sorry and here root and this is my password asd at one two three four here we go so you guys can see now here the replica is on this one these two i have created just for a test purpose so i am going to delete them okay 
done so you can see it is working very much fine thank you very much